Wow, look at that. Short Sword of Mask, plus four. Highly prized by those who serve the Shadow Lord. 15% chance to entangle your opponent. It's an awfully nice uh, weapon, but well beyond uh, our means, I think. Oh, gem bag? Oh, look at that. Typically carried by traveling healers, this leather case folds open allows the user to strap delicate potion bottles to its cushioned side for safe storage. Certainly going to buy that then. And, uh... Even though we don't carry that many potions, I think it's, uh... It's unique enough. <laughs> More gem bags. Alright. So I guess just making a mental note of this, although, uh... Something to keep in mind. Alright. Otherwise, I don't think... Just not really interested in the uh, crossbow. Though it's certainly nice. Automatically launches... Yeah, fire arrows. I guess it doesn't need even ammunition. Wow. It's not even that expensive. Compared to this. Alright. We should rest now. I need sleep. As far as she's fatigued already. Okay. <laughs> that was all we had? Oh, potions of clarity. What is it? Yeah, so I think we'll go in until What do you want? Please let me help. Oh, I've already cast clairvoyance. Alright. What? What? Yeah, I think we'll probably wait until, well, I'm not sure when exactly, but I think it's a little bit more pressing to reveal Sylvan Esselar, have her revenge against Irenicus, and then, uh, like I said, maybe come here for a yes? training expedition. For Mazzy. Look at that. Although... I'm ready for anything. <sighs> Name it. Alright, visibility for Nalia. Very, very I'll do it. Just want to actually see the perimeter. Look at this. Three passageways. Not sure how that relates with uh, the entrance up above. Wouldn't be surprised if there are exits that are sealed but will be opened uh, from the inside. The various levels. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the fifth level. Yeah, look at that. Boy, Lily wishes uh, she could simply jump in there and <laughs> read the rituals scroll. For an easy reward. Alright, I guess we can't walk around. That's the... It's 
Sounds like water. Okay. Well, I guess maybe on the way out we'll look at that dock. What is it? it? Sounds and looks like it's getting late. It actually is. Okay. Yes. It's interesting. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, I guess what I'm trying to go through in my mind is um, how this might relate. Look at this. Now uh, we'd actually reach the Small teeth pass. Like I said, I think Lily's anxious to get back to Othkotla at first. And then I think we'll uh, come back. All right, going back to city gates. Wow, I think it's been uh, quite a while since uh, we've been here. Of course, we have a few things I'd like to do. Probably stop at the Planar Sphere first. What? Does she have the. Uh, all right. Yes. Not sure if uh, Teos has returned. All right, this is uh, wholly unexpected. Here's uh, Kruin, who looks like a Githyanki. It is the wielder, the thief, and the defiler. All in one being. Strange. I thought there would be three. You there. Have you no twin sisters? Yeah, I was not even sure if he is talking to her. A question with a question. I see her mind is far deeper than I expected. Layers and layers of duplicity and deceit must be subtle with this one. Perhaps I should start again before she gets suspicious. I think that would be best. You there, elf woman. My freedom from limbo has a price. I must track down the thief of one of our most holy of holies. Must be referencing the part of the silver sword that we have in our possession. Yeah, I think she's going to make it up clear that she won't stand for any hostilities. I don't want anything of yours, just what's ours. The Githyanki don't just take... Don't take just anyone from their limbo prison. I have experience with humans. But what's surprising is, uh, I thought that the, she had come to a tentative agreement with the other Githyanki to leave well enough alone. I'm trying not to overwhelm you with my psionics just by accident. See how nice I am? Hand over the silver sword blade, and we'll all be happy. Well, maybe you won't be happy, but you won't be dead. That's got to be better, right? Yeah, I don't think she just wants to hand over uh, the blade. If anything, she's hoping maybe he's recovered the other component that we could have it forged. So she could sell it. <laughs> yeah, I think she's going to refuse. I did say I was a wild mage, right? If I end up having to cast a spell here, I won't be held responsible for it. So hand over the blade, or do I start casting? <laughs> she's certainly not afraid of that. I think she's wondering if he knows that she's a wild mage as well. 
My worst can be pretty bad. We had no idea he had, uh... Other Gith Yankee with him. Thought he was alone. <laughs> Holy cow. Alright. And of course nobody's prepared. Look at this. Gish, I guess, is a class of Gith Yankee. This is, uh, really bad. What is it? Some members are fatigued. All right. Let's hope she has the right sequence set up. The group needs me? Well, I guess Mazzy's going to have to face Kroon. I am ready. I think there's enough of them. Insect plague. Yes, Abil. Hopefully Viconia can, uh... Probably take care of this gish. Ready and willing. Alright, and they need the stone skin. Which they don't have. Alright, so... They won't go in invisible. Where can I be of most use? Stone skin for Nalia. Why does it look like she... What? Okay. <laughs> It looks like she had a wild surge. Boy, was that sequence so handy then. Not sure. Death spell. No, I think she's going to need uh, some help. Invisible Stalker? Where was the... Uh the warlock. Alright. 